Welcome back guys to another video and today we have small update for Nicehish Miner and this update is version 2026 from version 2025. So this was a really small update with only a few news and let's take a look how they perform compared to the previous version. So in this version we got updated excavator miner to version 1510A and removed Libri, Sia and Dagger Hashimoto with Sia in dual mining mode. So let's take a look what does this even mean, what does uh, updated excavator do compared to the previous version. And for this we have to go to the github releases over here and see the news. So Lira 2Z speed improvements and let's take a look at how do we perform compared to the previous version on the Lira 2Z. So this is the 180 Ti and you can see that on Lira 2Z right now I get 3.433 mega hashes per second for 13,000 satoshis per day. And on the previous version 2025 I was getting exactly 3.2 mega hashes per second so this is about 7% improvement. So really great improvement for Lira 2Z and uh, compared to the previous version it is worth updating just for the Lira 2Z especially because the Lira 2Z performs so well with such a low power consumption but most likely you're not going to mine any Lira 2Z because recently in the last seven days I was mining Lira 2Z less than five percent of the time and mostly it was just Equihash and little bit of uh, Neoscript. So Equihash and Neoscript and almost nothing of Lira 2Z so if you are also experiencing the same thing but of course it depends on your GPUs which you have and if you're not mining Lira 2Z you might not need to update. And the next one is small Lira 2 revision to speed improvements for some cards and it doesn't say anywhere for which cards uh, this actually is but on my 180 Ti I actually got little improvements. Uh, before this update I had 70.5 mega hashes per second and right now I get 71 0.044. So this is about 1% improvement on Lira 2 Revision 2. It is really small improvement and uh, it's, it's not really worth updating just for this but you also get Lira 2Z so it is a free uh, performance boost compared to the previous version. Uh, the next thing uh, you can take a look is over here uh, Kryptonite V7, Kryptonite Heavy for CPU there is nothing new over here and you don't get any performance improvements over here. And remove the Libri Sia and Dagger Hashimoto Sia in dual mining is something that I actually said when I reviewed the previous version of Nicehish Miner that they should actually remove uh, those algorithms because you are getting like two, three hundred or four hundred satoshis per day on the high-end GPUs, which is really even not worth mining for on your GPU. And you can see that you uh, have other versions over here: Dagger Hashimoto and Decred, Dagger Hashimoto and Pascal, still available for mining, and uh, they removed just dual mining for Dagger. Hashimoto and Sia together with uh, Sia mining. The next thing I think they should remove is Decred because you only get 222 Satoshis per day. It is full of ASIC miners that do Decred mining and there is really no need for them even to have this because it just takes a little bit longer to benchmark 13 uh, algorithms instead of 12 and just remove everything that is not profitable. It will make program faster, it will be smaller size and it will be better for new people to not have 13 different options but maybe on like 10 or 8 options which are the most profitable ones. Let's see what else they could remove. They could also remove Blake 2S. Um, this is only 3000 Satoshis. This is really not worth mining for and maybe the next thing they could remove is uh, maybe something like Ketsak but you still get 10,000 Satoshis per day on Ketsak and sometimes it has pretty good boost in profitability but this is all just because of market manipulation so Ketsak is also not doing really great but you still get some performance uh, improvements. On the CPU mining side only 2700 and 1800 satoshis per day which you get on 8 core 16 thread CPU Ryzen 7 1700 so mining with your CPU you cannot make any profits anymore. Well you can maybe if you have um, a if you have mining rig and you just want to put a Ryzen CPU there maybe instead of some low-end CPU because if you want to use it later on when you don't mine or something like that but for 2000 or 3000 satoshis per day it is not worth mining for because you, you will pay for electricity a lot more than you will get with uh, mining for such low amounts. So this is it, nothing actually new, you can go over here maybe to configure, maybe there are some news over here 
but I don't see anything new over here. So only those few little things, and it really, it really looks like the nice huge doesn't know what to implement next. They are only doing updates only like once a month with only a few small improvements, and the biggest improvement that they did in the last update was added Ravencoin mining with this X16R algorithm, but also you only get 20,000 Satoshis per day, which is not really great compared to what we had before. So hopefully in the next month, two or three months, altcoins will go up a little bit more and we will see a little bit better profits. And right now when Bitcoin went up 40% from 100 billion dollars market cap to 140 billion dollar market cap, people are asking the question why are they not making 40% more compared to the previous uh, when Bitcoin was at 100 billion. And this is just because uh, you get paid uh, for mining altcoins and altcoins didn't follow Bitcoin at all. So you still get exactly the same amount because you still mine exactly the same amount of value for those altcoins. And why would somebody pay you more if they don't have to pay you more for mining those altcoins that still didn't go up in the value. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you want to see in another one and see you soon. Bye.